Ali, she's got a right governor, hasn't she? You can hear her the side of the village. <laughs> oh, Ali, I thought you'd cancel this DVD thing. I'm gonna have to pay for it now. Oh, mint. I told Sean. Sean, I told you to cancel it. You never. <sighs> Amelia! I'm sorry, I'll cancel it later. Well, it's too late now. And have you spoken to Dan? Mum! Yeah? I can't find my jumper! It's on the top cupboard! I can't reach it! Sean, will you give her a hand? I can't help if she's a midget. Well, can we talk about this later? Yeah, that's the problem. Us talking is him you need to talk to. Well, I have. I know what it's like. Mm -hmm. I will, I'll do it after work. Mm. Same. I reckon it's dead good and you should look at it. I will do, love, I promise. Has he faked his report card again? Ha ha ha, funny. Sprinkles. It's that war project. I think he's quite proud. I know, that is exactly the face I pulled. I think it's because there's people getting killed and having their legs blown off. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, listen, I'm sorry about this morning. I know it's Dan's fault that things are taking a while. I will sort it, I promise. I know. And to make it up to you, how about after these, I take the kids and you go off for a drink with Rachel. I'll do the tea, you know, do the whole nice little wifey bit. <laughs> hey, less of the surprised face. But we will find him. So you want to go in? Yeah, of course. Right. So it's not because you lied about talking to Dan about the divorce? Shut your mouth. What? Well, you can bet Ruby will ask him about it next time he comes to pick up the kids. What if you help me with I, that? Come on, I'm not helping you divorce him. This is Dan. Well, you want my advice? If you want to stop Ruby from finding out the real reason you haven't done anything, you need to come up with a better excuse. Quick. She's always begging for sweets, and what am I supposed to say? No, like I do. It's bad enough having to babysit without listening to her moaning all day. Mm. Here. Is that it? I've got to get to work. I am grateful, you know. Have you read my project? When I get five minutes. You could have done it last night. What with a million things to do? Well, Ruby was cooking and cleaning. You didn't look very busy then. Even I'm entitled to some peace. Well, take it with you. You get breaks, don't you? Yeah, OK. Promise. When I get a minute. Our bell keeps pestering Katie to give her a job over the Easter. I tell her it's only going to be mucking out, but she's not bothered. She just wants to earn a bit of money. Hello? Hot in here. I wish he'd pester somebody for a job. Oh, I've got one, and she's doing my editing. Take me to the swing. Can't you take her? I'd love to, but we've got bills to pay. That's what you always say. What is wrong with you today? Is it that project? No. I read it at dinner time. Did you like it? It was brilliant. Which bit do you like best? Well, all of it. Like, you know, the bit about the war. It's all about the war. You didn't read it, did you? I will. Later. You're a liar. Sean! Want anything else? I want to go to the swings. Not on your own, you're not. Oh, come on, then. Yeah, and I wish he hadn't. I can't believe what we've done to him. No, neither can I. I mean, I haven't even looked at a man since Terry. And I haven't shaved me nails or anything. He wants me to read that project. Well, why haven't you? I will. I'll just read it. Uh, can't be that bad. It's not bad, this. Well, for a school project. I did one on the Tudors. I hate the Tudors. Boring. They were all boring to me. You were never there. I wanted to stay at the swing. Grow up. I might as well be in it. I want to say. What for? I'm trying to apologise here. I don't care. I'm dead proud of you. 
I know I don't show it, but I am. Yeah, sure, that's why I can wait to read my stuff. What is the big deal? It's one project. No, it's not. It's everything. Whenever I show you anything, you push it aside and say you'll look at it later. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You're not bothered what I do. Neither am I. I hate school. I might as well pack it in. No, you won't. You can't stop me. Just do what you did. I won't let you. I'm going to be like you. Get a job in a factory or with my dad. I'll be okay. You want better than that. You're clever and this project was brilliant. Oh, as if you know, you didn't even read it. I can't, because I can't read. It's true. No, it's not. Have you ever seen her read anything? Yeah. Honestly. Loads. No, you haven't. You've just seen me pretend. Everyone can read. I hated school. So do I, but you still make me go. Yeah. Because I don't want you turning out like me. Teachers never helped me. I used to just bunk off all the time. So why'd you have a go at me for it? Because you're better than me. You could get a proper job, earn loads of money, do anything you want instead of working in a factory. You've lied to me all my life. I'm never going to listen to anything you say again. You all right? No. My son thinks I'm thick. Well, he knows. Do you want me to have a word with him? We just saying that's a mess with my head. Of course not. I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me? Because I was ashamed. I didn't want to embarrass you. A couple of days ago, I showed you that text from my mate. Yeah. You laughed because you said it was funny. No. It's not your fault you can't read. I should have learned. I just kept putting it off. You could have told me. She just did. And look how you reacted. Uh, fish fingers, chips and beans all right for you? How do you know it was a tin of beans? Could have been peaches. Because I recognise labels and... Some words sometimes. If you can't read, how can you write? I can't, not properly. Well, birthday cards, lots of love, Mum and Dad. Well, your Dad wrote them. And me sometimes. Yeah, if your Dad were working away. He knew. I could hardly hide it from him. Oh, you manage with me. Cos you're a kid. Like, your Dad dealt with everything. Letters, bills, stuff from school. No, your Dad and Rachel, they got me through. You made them lie to us. Hiya. Can we talk about this later? Are you gonna be like this all night? Well, don't you have mates you can go and hang out with? Why don't you nip over to the pub, get us a bottle of wine? I meant to get one earlier. Yeah, no worries. So, have you got something to say? She doesn't know, does she? No. Nobody does. Except for your dad and Rachel. Now you. Don't worry. I won't say anything. Ta. I can help you to read if you want. I'll think about it. First reading lesson. I've had lessons before. It means the first one with him. Well, look, I appreciate it, but I just want to sit here before I go back to work. Hey, why don't you go playing computer like a normal teen? Mum, you said you wanted to learn how to read. I appreciate the effort. If you do, then don't say no. It don't go in. I don't know why. You mm -hmm. tried, Dan tried. So let me try. Please, Mum. I can't. I promised Ruby that I'd stick a wash in. I've got your sister's skirt to sew. I've barely got enough time to eat. But you will get over it. Besides, I've got better things to do than hang around with your mum. Are you going to sulk all night too? At least Sean don't rub it in my face. I'm not sulking. Yeah, right. 
know you too well for that. Same here. All that stuff about having too much to do at lunchtime. That is between me and Sean. He wants to help you and you knocked him back before he'd even tried. I'm right. Admit it. Think you know everything. I know you're a stubborn cow when it comes to reading. You've got it into your head that you can't do it and you're not about to let anybody prove you wrong. I would give anything to be able to read. Except give up your lunch. I want him to look up to me. I want him to be proud of me. Not see this stuttering idiot. He'd be proud to see you try. All right, love. Yeah, tea's in, oven. Not hungry. Be the kind of mum that would show the kids that nothing can't be overcome. Even shame. Mm. Here you go. Cut price seconds from the factory. There's not much up with it. It's hard. Look, I don't know what to say. I messed up. You were just trying to help. So if the offer's still on, do you want to have another go at reading in that? Sean in. Hi, love, come in. Amelia, get your coat. We'll go to the swings. Oh, well, there's an Easter egg hunt going on, so I thought I'd stop and help. Hi, Belle, you all right? Happy Easter. I haven't got you anything. It's all right. I just need something off my sister. She's got loads. <laughs> you coming out? Right. You go. I'll catch you up. I'll leave you on. Come on, we'll miss all the chocolate. See you in a bit. Could have gone. I'm all right. I'm sorry about snapping before. It's just this whole reading thing's really hard for me. Right. There you go. I just, I thought it would be a good In the light of the moon. In the light of the moon. Right, yeah. You do the next bit on your own. I can't. Words oh, easy. For you, maybe. Eh, g, g, egg. This is stupid. I can't even read a baby book. You have to start somewhere. It's not exactly going to get me turning pages, is it? Right. Try this. Hmm, computer games. Oh, so you're hoping for a new DS out of this, are you? G, A, M, E, S, games. I'm gonna make a drink. Mum. Well, look, you know, we've made a start, haven't we? But you're doing all right. Yeah, that's lovely, darling. Oh, yeah. Oh, do you want me to come with you? Yeah. I definitely want to be seen buying chains for my mum. Um, just the trainers, nothing else. I know exactly what I'm getting. We all didn't remember. How come he gets a treat and I don't? Laters. It's not fair. Oh, well, I suppose we can go to the shop and get some chocolate bickies. If you could. So how come we've suddenly got cash to be chucking about on trainers and chocolate? Well, I can't very well get him and not her, can I? I mean, what do you want me to do, send up a school carrier bags on his feet? No, it's fine, it doesn't bother me. As long as it's not coming out of the divorce fund. <laughs> come with us. Right, come on, choose one thing and don't go mad. Oh, she gets a sweet tooth from her dad. God, he was a nightmare. He still is. Well, if you can't treat him once in a while, eh? <laughs> Can I have these? Yeah, go on, I don't see why not. I'm not going to break the bank, are they? Would you like them? Uh, can you just do us a favour and make sure there's no nuts in them? He's allergic. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But... Yeah, I think they're all right. You really need your eyes tested. Uh, just hang on a minute. Look, not sure ain't good enough, right? Look, it says right here, may contain nuts. Does it? Oh, I'm sorry, I must have missed it. Do you know what happens to him if he eats nuts, eh? My throat swells up so I can't breathe, then they have to stab me with a scalpel. <clears throat> Look, he could die, all right? All right, she said she's sorry. 
Sorry. Right. Let's just go. What about my biscuit? Oh, never mind about them. We'll get you something another time. <sighs> Why did they give you four foot of extra laces? I don't know, they just do. You want to lop them off and use them as a belt? Save your trousers from falling down. <laughs> Can I have the new trainers? The ones with the lights on? Oh, you know, they'd be really cool if you were free. You don't need any love, you're all right. Didn't even get my chocolate biscuits. How oh, come? Cool. I thought it was about being fair. Well, we had a bit of an incident and we got sidetracked. Yeah, she nearly killed Jacob. Hey. hey not on purpose. She gave him some biscuits with nuts in when he's allergic. I told her she needs specs. <laughs> it's not my fault. If he's that flipping allergic, his mum should be more careful. You think she'd know what she'd got in her own stock? Does she have one of them pens? But, you know, what would happen if you used the pen but you didn't need to? Would you, like, totally freak out or what? I don't think anyone would be that daft. <laughs> Judging by half the kids in this class, I won't be too sure. Mm. You couldn't read the ingredients. <laughs> Why didn't you tell her? I will do. When I get a bit bad, I don't want to think I'm a complete moron. What? So you'd just rather she thought you were a child killer instead? Nice one. Real smart. So 